Okay, next we are going to do the testimonial tabs, which are right here. With the testimonial tabs, you have author name, author site URL, URL opens in same window or new window, and then just the text for the testimonials. So let's go ahead and add a name. Author site URL, we'll just put that for now. Let's go grab some text. We'll only need about this much text because it's just testimonials and you'll probably have them in rows of three. There are also plugins and components you can use to have people submit testimonials to the website. This is just one that comes in the website that allows you to take testimonials and post them up on your website in a nice looking way. So we have testimonial one. Let's go ahead and do testimonial two. We'll just go ahead and put another hashtag in. Then we'll go ahead and make sure all that text is clean. And then the third and final testimonial. And clean that up. And now let's preview the page. Okay, and now you see our testimonials down here. And the reason why you would want to have links in and why I was showing you the link section is this part down here will be linked. So if someone gave you a good testimonial, and you wanted to link back to their site, you could put their name and then link back to their site. And this is what the testimonial piece that they have looks like. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be showing you is going to be the sidebar module. And what the sidebar is, is actually widgets. So when you put a sidebar in, the sidebar will be where the widgets go for the page and that piece is right here and you'll see that it's left or right whichever one you want widget area and this you can actually go into the widget uh, page and you can actually create more widget areas and you can create as many as you want and then this one will actually allow you to place them on the page. So then you don't only have to have these different areas. And text color, admin label, and save. And you'll notice there was nothing really to do in there because, like I said, this is just going to be the sidebar so now you've set it to say that this page will have a right sidebar and the reason why they have this down here is because usually when you're doing page builder you do not have the actual part up here that says full width left or right you choose in here as you're building the page so now let's go and preview and it's most likely because there's nothing in there right now but the sidebar once you added to the sidebar it would start to show up over here where you place the sidebar but you have to start placing widgets in it first before it will appear